going to find the plane wreck in Vic. You have now entered Lost, the Iceland edition. I'm hiking to the plane, the abandoned plane wreck. It's about four miles round trip. No sign of a plane yet. It's somewhere down there. Legend has it that in 1973, a United States Navy DC plane ran out of fuel and crashed right here on the black sand beach of Solheimasandor, Iceland. In the middle of this desolate landscape, we spot the plane. Now, let's see if we can find any survivors. All right, we made it to the abandoned plane. It was about a four mile hike back and forth. We get a closer look at the plane. It's completely in tatters after spending 45 years here on this windswept beach. Legend has it that all seven passengers on this plane survived, but without wings and a tail, the landing still remains a mystery. Let's go inside for a closer look. Inside, we look for clues on the wreckage to see if we can piece together this mysterious story. Turns out that they were on their way to nearby Hoffen when the pilot simply switched over to the wrong fuel tank. Uh, okay. Fuel. 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 How long were they stranded on this beach? We have yet to find out. We crashed a thousand miles off course. They're looking for us in the wrong place. Stranded on an island. No one's coming for us. Just look at these landscapes. It's insane. There's absolutely nothing out here. There's absolutely nothing out here. This place is different. We all know it. We all feel it. We only found this spot because we saw a grouping of cars in the middle of nowhere. Guess which month it is. I'll give you a hint. Okay, that was your hint. Let's go. Although it's hard to keep track of months and time when you're stranded on an island, we will reveal this one mystery at the end of the video. It turns out that while the plane was plummeting towards the ground, the pilot decided to veer the plane away from the ocean. He knew that a landing in the northern Atlantic would cause hypothermia. We are in Vic! Look at how beautiful this is! The ocean is sparkling and look at how epic this is. We're the only ones on the beach. If you want a beach vacay all to yourself, come to Iceland. Because of this moon-like landscape, the pilot was able to glide the plane safely to landing on the smooth, icy surface. Do it again. Better. We explored the black sand looking for clues, but instead we found natural wonders. Check this out, we found a river that's naturally flowing straight into the beach from the glacier. To this day, nobody really knows why the plane was abandoned and why it's still here. We walk along the ocean's edge, but find no other signs of life, no other footsteps besides our own. It's been six days, and we're all still waiting, waiting for someone to come. Now, some mysteries are meant to be solved, and others are meant to be open to interpretation forever, just like the series Lost. We need to start figuring things out. We need to figure out how we're going to survive here. up to the top of this chapel on the hill to get the view of Vic. Subarctic Hawaii. Yeah. A very misty Hawaii. 
Now it's time to explore more of the surreal landscapes in Iceland. So we traveled up this hill and we made it to this beautiful Vic church overlooking Vic in the ocean. Look, somebody's getting married here. This is incredible. Look at this little town right here. Look at this view. One thing we learned from the plane wreckage sighting is it's important to fuel up, so time to get gas and food. Stopping off to get food and gas. Lots and lots of licorice. These are good. Just bought some tritlars for the road. They're kind of like little gummy snacks. We got lamb goulash and lamb stew. Beef jerky for fish. We just got these skier bars. They're made with skier yogurt. Ooh, ooh. The most scenic gas station of all time. This right here is an Iceland Air Hotel. It's really cool and modern. After stopping off the road a few times to take in the epic scenery, it's time to head to one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Iceland. There's campgrounds. This is Skogo Falls. So we're doing climbing to the top. Doing this time of year, there are wildflowers. And look, there's a little girl in there. Going up. Skogo Falls. We ascend up the staircase to take in the stunning views of Skogo Falls and Vic down below. This is Iceland part do, baby. Iceland part do. So we just climbed to the top of Skogafoss, and right here is a mini Skogafoss. This is the river leading up to the waterfall. Woo! Iceland! It's incredible. Make sure to bring your DSLR. Link in the description below for our recommended gear so you can capture this epic scenery. This is a photographer's dream. Look at all this mist coming up and at the top here too. This dude right there is naked and they're doing a naked photo shoot. One of the best surprises of the journey was being able to capture the sheep roaming free in the wild. Oh my gosh. There's one half black, half white one. Now we hike down the hill to get an up close and personal view of Skoga Foss. Now, although we didn't find any extraterrestrials or survivors from the DC plane wreck on this otherworldly trip to Iceland, we did get nature's best surprise on our way back to Reykjavik. That's right, Northern Lights in summer. And what month is it? Thanks for staying to the end of the video. The answer is next. Come to Iceland in August. If you guessed August, you 
guessed right. And it's time for that beach vacay. Yes, he is wearing shorts. We hope that you enjoyed this science fiction vlog of Iceland. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you thought that scenery was cool, you're going to want to subscribe because coming up next is Northern Iceland. You won't want to miss it.